Sony's coming with the counter punch. That's right. What's up? All right. What is going on, everybody? How? Oh, y'all doing? It's Saturday. I'm a. This is a Saturday short by Ob1. We don't have a couple of dope news items. We have specifically two dope news items. So we'll see how long this video is before I say anything else. Though, give it a thumbs up, thumbs up. All right, you see the title, Sony. And I tweeted this out on Twitter. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, at ob one Place. I tweeted out, Sony is about to end Xbox's whole life. Bro, X, um, according to this article, VideoGamesChronicles.com, and it's coming from, it's a reliable source who's, source who's saying this. You'll see. PlayStation is working on a counterpunch to Xbox Game Pass. Claims god of war creator and so this is coming from not just random some random dude but from the god of war creator i have his exact quote uh, on my phone this is um david jaff he cites a sony source who reportedly says it will react to game passes popularity and this is what the developer from sony is saying and i quote I know they are doing some stuff because April has been a rough month for press for PlayStation. The last couple weeks, MLB The Show, a PlayStation Studios developed game, will be launching day and date on Game Pass. Ouch, ouch. I know Sony's like, ouch, that hurt. And not just that, one of the best games to launch this year, Outriders, great AAA game, was included. I, I don't want to say free because you pay $15 every month, but was included in Game Pass. And so, Xbox has been making waves, causing attention, causing, I, I, this is how I feel. They sort of, they sort of draw the attention of, uh, we really don't have any exclusives on our consoles to Game Pass. They have changed the narrative to Game Pass. But I still have to keep it a buck. At the end of the day, if I had an Xbox Series X or a PlayStation 5 in front of me and I had to choose red pill, blue pill, I'm taking the blue pill, bro. Green pill, blue pill. I'm taking the blue pill, bro. PlayStation 5 still, I have way more. I'm enjoying my PlayStation 5. I had some technical hiccups earlier, about a week ago. But you buy a console for exclusives because multi-plats are multi-plats. They're going to be on every platform. But in my opinion, Sony still has the best first party lineup and the best first party games. Even with the Bethesda acquisition, so Xbox still can't touch Sony's exclusives. And so, top off their exclusive, just imagine God of War included in, in whatever PlayStation, I don't know what they're going to call it. In play, let's say they keep PlayStation Now. God of War included in PlayStation Now. Um, Horizon, Ver Forbidden West included PlayStation Now. They could they could start this really. They could just flip the trigger. I think it's just a matter of Sony figuring out the business strategy and how they're going to remain profitable because their games still sell. They'll probably lose money going this route, and so they have to make sure that they're going to get enough subscribers to offset the possible loss they may get from um, having gamers spent $70 for games. And so, 
Just imagine, instead of spending $70 for Ratchet and Clank that's coming out in June, it's included in PlayStation Now. I would be a PlayStation Now subscriber. Am I? I think I am already. I didn't check my account. But it would get way more people on board if you can get all of these games. And here's the thing. Sony is still trying to sell consoles. I really think they're not going to um, do it, go the Xbox route as far as PC. They may say if you have a PlayStation 5, you get X, Y, and Z. Oh, who knows? They may just open it up, open the floodgates for anyone to subscribe. Um, and they may say, you know what? It's not going to hurt our console sales. People are still going to pick up a PlayStation 5. So can't wait, can't wait to see what they actually unveil, when they will unveil it. I tell you this, it's not going to be long. I think June, June, around June, fall, they're going to announce this new subscription model that they have. And when they do it, what else is Xbox going to be able to say? Because right now, all I hear dude from, dudes from now is Game Pass, bro. Xbox got Game Pass. But if Sony does the same thing, they're going to be able to definitely trump what Game Pass is offering. Final Fantasy 16 is a Sony exclusive, bro. Forsaken. So, oh my goodness. So many IPs that they could do to push this. All right, dudes. The next and last news item for this video. It's a Saturday short, boy. We still might go 10 minutes. We'll see. But Sony is hiring a head of mobile to help adapt popular PlayStation franchises for mobile. It's starting to make a little bit more sense. This probably ties into their next business strategy with PlayStation Now, too. Because first, the big news last month, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, uh, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation Vita stores closing. So you couldn't buy any of those old storied franchises from PlayStation. And now with this news, we see that they plan on re-releasing these games in the mobile market. But I also think that it's going to be something tied into this PlayStation, this new rumor of them counterpunching Game Pass. I think it's all related. And here is my next thing. Y'all see the Vita on the screen? Could, could Sony possibly be working on a handheld device to even tap into the Switch market? I know Sony sees those Switch sales. Bro, I was looking at BG charts the other day. The Nintendo Switch is destroying both Sony and Xbox combined, bro. Nintendo is killing it. And that's a lot of money off the table. I think they could have a good run with the mobile market if they do the handheld right. The PlayStation Vita was dope hardware, but the software couldn't compete. But if they can figure out to have the same software that's on the PlayStation 5, also on this handheld device, they'll have a winner on their hand. Include that with this new PlayStation Now? A model? Sony can make some waves. They just got to make the right moves. All right, dudes. What do you guys think of everything we talked about? And a lot of dudes are doom and gloom. I see a lot of people talking about they need to fire Jim Ryan. Bro, Sony is still outselling Xbox 2 to 1, bro. So don't be blinded by the recent Game Pass announcements. Sony PlayStation 5 is still killing it, even with limited quantities. All right, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Peace. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. 
Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash Obi-Wan plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Peace.